What is it like to be a dog? Being a dog is a unique and wonderful experience. Each dog has its own personality, history and preferences, but there are some things that all dogs share in common. In this video, I will try to describe what it is like to be a dog from the point of view of a dog. First, let's talk about the senses. Dogs have five senses, vision, hearing, smell, taste and touch. Each of these senses is different from humans, and some are more developed than others. The vision of dogs is less sharp than that of humans, but they can see better in the dark and detect fast movements. They can also see some colours, but not all. They mainly see in shades of blue, yellow and grey. The colours red and green are hard to distinguish for them. The hearing of dogs is much more acute than that of humans. They can hear sounds that humans can't, such as ultrasound. They can also locate the origin of sounds with precision, thanks to their movable ears. They use hearing to communicate with other dogs and with humans through barks, growls, howls and whines. The smell of dogs is their most powerful sense. They can smell thousands of times better than humans and use their nose to explore the world and get information. They can recognize other dogs and humans by smell and also detect emotions, diseases, food, dangers, and much more. They mark their territory with urine and smell the rear end of other dogs to greet them. The taste of dogs is less refined than that of humans, but they can still appreciate different flavors. They like to eat meat, bones, fruits, vegetables, and even some human foods, but they should avoid some foods that are toxic to them, such as chocolate, grape, onion, and garlic. They can also drink water, but they should not drink alcohol, coffee, or tea. The touch of dogs is sensitive, especially on the paws, the muzzle, and the ears. They use touch to feel the heat, the cold, the pain, the pleasure, and the affection. They like to be petted, scratched, massaged, and hugged by humans and by other dogs. They also use touch to play, fight, hunt, and defend themselves. Second, let's talk about the emotions. Dogs have basic emotions such as joy, sadness, fear, anger, surprise, and disgust. They can also feel love, jealousy, guilt, shame, and pride. They express their emotions through body language, sounds, and smells. They can read the emotions of humans and of other dogs and react accordingly. Dogs are intelligent animals that can learn and adapt. They can be trained to obey commands, perform tricks, help humans in various tasks, and even save lives. They can also solve problems, use tools, imitate behaviors, and deceive others. They have a good memory and can remember people, places, objects, and situations. Dogs are curious animals that like to explore and have fun. They have a lot of energy and need physical and mental exercise to stay healthy and happy. They like to run, jump, swim, dig, bite, fetch, hide, and chase. They also like to play with toys, with humans, and with other dogs. They have a sense of humor and can make jokes and laugh. Third, let's talk about the challenges. Being a dog is not easy, and there are many things that can make the life of a dog difficult. Some of these challenges are the lack of understanding of humans. Many humans do not understand the needs, the feelings, and the signals of dogs, and can treat them inappropriately, unfairly, or cruelly. They can ignore, neglect, abandon, hit, cage, mutilate, exploit, or kill dogs. They can also impose rules, limits, and punishments that do not make sense to dogs, and that can cause stress, anxiety, fear, frustration, aggression, or depression in dogs. The lack of freedom of dogs. Many dogs live in restricted spaces such as apartments, houses, yards, kennels, or streets. They cannot go out, explore, socialize, hunt, or express themselves freely. They depend on humans for everything from food, water, health, hygiene, security, fun to love. They cannot choose their partners, their friends, their puppies, or their destiny. They are subjected to the will of humans that can change at any time. The lack of respect of other animals. Many dogs suffer from the hostility, the competition, the violence, and the threat of other animals, such as other dogs, cats, rats, snakes, insects, birds of prey, etc. 
they can be attacked, bitten, scratched, stung, infected, poisoned, stolen or killed by these animals. They can also contract diseases, parasites, injuries or deformities because of these animals. Fourth, let's talk about the dreams. Dogs also dream just like humans. They can dream about things that they lived, that they saw, that they heard, that they smelled, that they tasted or that they touched. They can also dream about things that they imagined, that they wished, that they feared, that they hated, that they loved or that they admired. They can dream about people, places, objects, situations, emotions, sensations or ideas. The dreams of dogs can be good or bad, real or fantastic, clear or confusing, short or long, frequent or rare. They can reflect the state of mind, the personality, the memory, the creativity, the intelligence or the humour of dogs. They can influence the behaviour, the mood, the health or the happiness of dogs. Dogs can manifest their dreams through movements, sounds or smells. They can move their paws, their tail, their muzzle or their ears. They can bark, growl, howl or moan. They can release odours, saliva or urine. They can look happy, sad, scared, angry, surprised or disgusted. Humans can try to understand the dreams of dogs by observing their signs, listening to their sounds or smelling their smells. They can also try to interact with dogs by waking them up, talking to them, touching them or playing with them. They should be careful not to scare, irritate or hurt dogs and respect their space and their time. Fifth, let's talk about the hopes. Dogs also have hopes, just like humans. They can hope for things that they want, that they need, that they like, that they admire or that they thank. They can hope for people, places, objects, situations, emotions, sensations or ideas. The hopes of dogs can be simple or complex, real or imaginary, possible or impossible, immediate or future, frequent or rare. They can reflect the state of mind, the personality, the memory, the creativity, the intelligence or the humour of dogs. They can influence the behaviour, the mood, the health or the happiness of dogs. Dogs can manifest their hopes through movements, sounds or smells. They can wag their tail, lick their muzzle, widen their eyes or tilt their head. They can bark, howl, cry or sigh. They can release odours, saliva or urine. They can look anxious, excited, impatient, hopeful or grateful. Humans can try to understand the hopes of dogs by observing their signs, listening to their sounds or smelling their smells. They can also try to fulfil the hopes of dogs by giving them what they want, need, like, admire or thank. They should be careful not to frustrate, disappoint, deceive or hurt dogs and respect their space and their time. Sixth, let's talk about the conclusions. Being a dog is a unique and wonderful experience, but also full of challenges and uncertainties. Dogs are amazing animals that deserve our respect, our care and our love. They teach us many things such as loyalty, joy, courage and gratitude. They keep us company, protect us, entertain us and love us unconditionally. We, humans, should do our best to understand, help, support and live with dogs and not treat them as objects, toys or slaves. We should recognise their rights, their needs, their feelings and their dreams. We should be their friends, their partners and their protectors. Being a dog is being a living being that has a life, a history and a soul. Being a dog is being a member of our family, of our planet and of our universe. Being a dog is being a miracle, a blessing and a gift.